Okay, uh, this is uh, just a familiarization with my SKS. I haven't shot it in a while, and you'll see why I did a video on this. Uh, this is my first two magazines, uh, 20 rounds each, and then as I go over here, this is my last magazine. So pretty much uh, my SKS is right on. This is 50 yards, so I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm done shooting for today. Like I said, it's uh, familiarization. And uh, part of another video I'm going to do on the SKS. So both these targets, 50 yards. I swear that's not me up there shooting the uh, wood. <laughs> and somebody, uh, somebody's a really bad shot. They almost shot out the pole here. Here's another example of a gun I painted with Rust-Oleum. And I painted this gun a couple years ago. And um, I don't baby my guns. Uh, this gets thrown in the back of the truck, taken out to the range and shot. So a lot of people have a problem with this, with Rust-Oleum. I do not. Basically, all I'm doing is keeping the rust off the parts, metal parts, of a firearm. That's all my coating is doing. I want it to be durable. And this rust -Oleum has proved durable over time. As I said, I painted this gun a couple years ago. And the funny thing is is that I uh, recently on the Texas uh, gun trader tried to sell this gun and I could not sell this gun for the life of me even though this is a great shooting gun this is uh, a excellent um, stock it functions flawlessly. I've never had any hiccups with it. And it's just that the finish, some people find the finish ugly. And they are not interested in something that's done in Rust-Oleum. They want you to tell them that it's a commercial grade uh, Cerakote Duracote. And I have done guns in uh, Duracoat, actually, and uh, they did not turn out well. I did not do a good job, and because they're so permanent, I was unable to get them corrected for a reasonable price. Um, however, one thing I did like about Duracoat was that this stripper... So if you're gonna get if you're gonna go with Duracoat, make sure you get this stripper. Uh, this stuff is fantastic for degreasing guns, and I uh, highly recommend it. Uh, even if you're painting with the uh, with the Rust-Oleum, I degreased this gun with the Duracoat stripper, and then I coated it with Rust-Oleum. The trick to doing Rust-Oleum or some other kind of spray can paint on your guns is the preparation. You have to degrease and clean the parts before you start. 